Hey there, GX Nation. I've got a new product for you today. If you saw my Cross Industries off-road video on the rear Molly panel, then I think you're gonna like this video. My buddy over at Cross Industries Off-Road who made the rear Molly panel has come up with a new product that I think is pretty interesting. I'm gonna show you how to install it today and then I'll tell you how I feel about it after using it for about the last two weeks. So here it is. A Molly panel that goes under your driver's seat. Pretty cool. Let me show you how it works. All right, here's the driver's seat, and we've all got this little space right in front of the driver's seat. This is where your floor mat usually goes. These are the connectors that hold your seat to the body of the car. That's usually dead space, but you know what? What if we could mount a Molly panel right in this space right here? How cool would that be, huh? That's exactly what Cross Industries Off-Road has come up with. Let me show you how it goes on. This process literally takes like five minutes. First of all, you start with this little plastic clip here, and you go, ah, 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 done. Then you go over here to this next one, and grab it right here, and you just go right like that. Boom, both of them are off now. You just need to loosen up these bolts with a socket wrench. I've already loosened these up. Then you take your molly panel, and I'm gonna insert it underneath the bracket for the chair. All right, now that I have that under the brackets, all I gotta do is use my socket wrench, tighten it up tight, that's all there is to it. All right, now all I have to do is reattach this plastic clippy thing to the bottom of the chair. I'm gonna start by just threading it through there, and I wanna make sure that these two little teeth line up with the receiving teeth on this little plastic piece. Now you'll notice it stops right there, but the molly panel's in the way. All I have to do is lift it up a little bit and push it towards the back of the car, and it'll slide right on. Boom, just like that. Now all I have to do is install the other one on the other side. Like I said, man, it took me less than five minutes to install this Molly panel to the front seat. Let me show you what it looks like. All right, you can see it right there. I've got a Molly panel on the front side of the driver's seat. I can attach all kinds of smaller devices, smaller bags, anything I want up there. I've been using it for about the past two weeks, and I gotta say, my feet don't hit it. I actually forget that it's there. I really haven't noticed it. It doesn't affect the performance of the seat at all. I can move the seat up and back without any problem. It doesn't cause any kind of interference or anything. And I'm looking forward to getting some really small bags to attach to this Molly panel. Everybody's got that crap on the side of the door. You've got your you know, tire inflator, you've got your uh, multi-tool. You got all kinds of wires in here. You got a carabiner every once in a while. Just all kinds of crap that's floating around in your door, not to mention the center console. The Molly panel is a great way to keep all that stuff organized. So there you have it. Like I said, man, less than five minutes, and I got a Molly panel installed under my front driver's seat. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't seen the video on my rear Molly panel, check it out. I'll put the link down below. You can also check out TXGXOverland.com for great stories, videos, and products. Appreciate you stopping by today. Have a great day.